how to make a t-shirt smaller that's coming up. Hello Fashion Sewer, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking to improve your sewing skills, consider subscribing and let's get started. So here we have our t-shirt and we are going to be reshaping it and making it smaller from the size of the shirt here. I've got a little indicator here for my waistline because I want it to come in just a little bit more. So I would recommend you trying on your shirt and then making a decision about how much you're going to be taking off the side seams. So let's fold our t-shirt in half. There we go. And just straighten it up and make sure you've got those underarms all nice and even. And then when it comes to the sleeve, we just want to make sure that's all even as well. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then just to make the whole process just a little bit easier, just take out the top of the sleeve here. And it's going to create like a dark shape here so that I get a smoother cut line from the sleeve to the hemline or the hemline to the sleeve, whichever direction you want to go. So I am going to be marking about a five centimeter, which is roughly about two inches. So you don't need to take measure for this here. So from here, I'm going to put a marking that comes all the way through the body of the shirt. And I'm going to create, come in a little bit here to where my pin is. That's going to be my waistline. And then I'm going to come out just a little bit and then I'm going to continue going down to the hemline so it's about there and then once you have done that you will need a sharp pair of scissors and maybe I'm going to put a couple of pins in because I don't want movement in my shirt I just want them both to be the same same size Right, so I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to start from the hemline and I'm going to cut in through all those layers. I'm going to come in here slightly because I want it to be fitting around my... Make sure that you leave a 1.5 centimetre allowance so even though you think that you have your shirt to the measurement that you want, then when you come to cut, just make sure that you have a 1.5 seam allowance, which is centimetres and it's five eighths of an inch if it's inches. That's right. And then I'm going to go through this bulk here, which is all the seams of the underarm, and then come to the sleeve so, yeah so i'm happy with that so i've got that part to one side and then take that pin out now my shirt is smaller <sighs> on the side the next thing to do is to flip it to the wrong side
like so. And then you're going to get some pins. If you wish, you just need a couple of pins, you don't need that many. Just want to make sure you line up each of the side seams, your new side seams that you've created. One on the underarm, and I'm going to put one at the waistline. And then just one at the bottom, and then I do the same on the other side. So there we have the sleeve, and I've pinned it at the underarm to the waistline and then to the hemline. And then I'm going to take that to my sewing machine to do a uh, stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch. You can also overlock this as well or serge the raw edge, but for this example, I'm just going to be using my sewing machine. And there we have the side seams are now stitched all the way through to the sleeves. So this is the wrong side and I'm now going to turn it to the right side so that you can have a quick look. Now hopefully you can see that the t-shirt looks smaller from when we first started. That should be in that, yeah. I think you can see the difference there. So that's nice and snug fit now. So there we have our t-shirt is now smaller. This is a great little sewing project for a beginner and if you are a beginner I recommend that you give it a go. Stick around the channel for more awesome fashion sewing tutorials. If you haven't already subscribed please do so and when you do don't forget to hit the bell which will notify you of when I upload videos. Do leave a comment, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.